Hello and welcome to the show. This week's Fairways episode, we start with Epic Big TJ01 on Forza Horizon 2 with an incredibly quick Alpha 33 going for some stunts at the industrial park, gets an unintended uh, backflip halfway through, doesn't quite have the speed when he hits the bank to jump the buildings and ends up, well, sort of uh, tumbling. Does land it? Yeah, they're, 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 those hidden bumps can do some interesting things to your <laughs> to your vehicle. Not the only one. E.g., Uniques again on Horizon Two with a Lamborghini Veneno doing some off-roading when suddenly the Lamborghini decides that being on four wheels is far too boring for it, and that we must tumble through the foliage. And uh, eventually, well, eventually the game gives up and says, "Right, we're resetting your uh, <laughs> resetting your car." RS Templar 103 on a rather soggy day uh, at Horizon Two driving through the festival, something goes flying, there's a McLaren goes flying past, doesn't quite see the escort in time, loses control of the car, and it's through all of the trees. And amazingly, despite spinning off the road at 100 odd miles an hour, made it all the way through the trees without any problems. Rare Gliscor 1 on Horizon 2 with the uh, the famously dangerous cross-country races. This one slips back to fifth, and then everybody in front of him crashes on the same jump. He goes underneath two of them, which... Uh, <laughs> That's quite a, quite a dangerous part of the track. The Fulvia amazingly lands pointing the right direction and carries on in fuzz. Yeah, that's that that's quite um yeah quite a crash. Uh, Matt Depor on Forza Motorsport 5 going up a rouge in his Lamborghini when the Audi head breaks more than he expects. And well, I mean if you can't go round them, let's just go under them and kind of serve them into the wall. I don't think you can quite decide what on earth to do at this mo moment in time. That's I mean we've seen kind of like Formula One cars and Indy cars go underneath stuff, but a Countach. Go, I'm okay, yeah, it's kind of a wedge shape, but still, that's uh, that's quite uh, quite impressive. Up next, on to, uh, to GTA 5, with the sudden spawning in pylons that the pilot doesn't quite have time to react to. Amazingly, <laughs> despite ejecting downwards, somehow they survive that. I, I'm, I'm not sure that would quite work, but there we go, they got, a, they got away with it. Ah, the GTA 5 police. Uh, <laughs> These these often create much entertainment. This time, though, it is one doing his job pretty well. On the dangerous road, he managed to get the blade really well and truly wedged. Uh, the blade's trying his best, but he's, you know, the, the cop's doing a really good job. But it's his friend in the background that we want to watch. Uh, eventually, the blade does get itself uh, through. The the, the, the the other policeman, though, doesn't quite do his job so well. First of all, spins, and then just sort of drives straight off the cliff for no apparent reason. I mean, I was amazed just how well the first policeman was doing. The second guy, though, doing much much up to uh, expectations. Tom the Turtle, 180. Again, with some surprisingly effective police. They're trying to stop him from getting away in a, in a tornado. And their tactic here is a new one, not seen this before. Boost the car down the straight, down the runway, and uh, make sure it goes to the fence and everybody pile in while it's stuck on its side, and then shoot the living crap out of the driver. Turns out, very, very effective. Don't go to the airport when you try to get away from the police. They, they are very, very good at dealing with that. Uh, Paddy Fancy again with another police chase. This time, he has tried to climb up Chiliad when uh, his car catches fire, so he decides to abandon ship. Uh, I Perhaps not the greatest place. I perhaps wouldn't want to particularly be abandoning a vehicle on Chiliad because, well, you got to try and find another car. And, uh, well, the police kind of tried to give him one with the <laughs> exploded police cruiser that comes tumbling down the mountain, whacks him off, and now he's rolling towards what was his ruiner and then promptly manages to catch on fire so so far the dead police are, are doing a better job than the live ones were doing and still now, now we're just going for sort of a, a face slide all the, <laughs> all the way down Chiliad and the police are continuing to do a terrible job of shooting them they're getting a couple of shots a couple of shots on target but still eventually he manages to uh, to get up gets uh, gets a whatever gun out um i'm not even sure what gun we're using now that can one shot helicopters but there we go uh <laughs> Helicopters go down, he's admiring his handiwork, when we got another wreck of a vehicle. The helicopter tumbles down, kills him, sets him on fire. That's, um, yeah, apparently the dead police are more effective than the uh, the living ones. Gadget Boy 8 on the crew, finding some more magic dodges. Yep, this time around it is a charger that has got... Um, it's, he's got its special abilities. He can phase through walls, although apparently he's not quite activated them properly as it gets stuck and then sort of, well, flips its way into what looks like sort of a transformery building-y bit. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that's quite what the Chargers are supposed to be doing, but uh, never mind. 
Angus HOO on the crew. This is one of my favorite races, actually. I love this this area. Uh, sort of the, the Florida, Florida swampy bits. These are great fun to uh, to race around. He gets himself up to the lead, but the Chevrolet decides that there shall be no lead for the Ford. Uh, the second it gets near his bumper and flings him off into the water. JR98 Gaming on GTR2 with a car that suddenly decides we want to be going through the air. Yeah, flying race cars is never is never the greatest thing, but it's when it's coming to the replay that we actually see. We also managed to go into a building as well. But uh, yeah, when it comes to the replay, then we learn what actually happened to the car. It wasn't that it suddenly went uh, went airborne. It was the car behind a Lister Storm decided to lift the Lamborghini. I mean, that is an impressive lift from the... Uh, <laughs> from the Lister there and fires the uh, the Lamborghini off of the track. Husky Mad Dog on Drive Club racing around with Aston Martin Zagato uh, come up towards some very fast corners and well apparently the curbs on a drive club, but pretty dangerous as well. Gets it, just kind of bounces it across the uh, the bumps there, loses control, flips it off a curb, goes for a huge number of tumbles. That's uh, that's a pretty damn high speed crash for the uh, for the Aston Martin there. And we finish with a nerdy Nordic on driver San Francisco making the crashes on the motorway here was great amount of fun. You could have huge wrecks on the motorway. This time though, a truck's just completely forgotten how to physics. It's just, it was all going normally, well as normal as a big motorway crash can go, and then the truck decides that physics no longer applies to it, and uh, yeah, also the other cars are sort of driving straight through it. Uh, I don't know, the, 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 the truck does not abide the uh, abide the laws of physics uh, on that particular one. Yeah, rather rather impressive shunt from uh, from that. Anyway, uh, that is it uh, for this episode of Fail Race. If you have clips you would like to submit to this series, then you can via our forums. There will be a link in the description. Very top of the page is the Fail Race clip submission section. In there, you can find all of the rules and how to submit the clips. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.